This video is to show the difference in the gear trains between the Model T and the other common gear trains found in your $100 to $140 servos. Right off the top, you can see that your two common servos have a 4 reduction gear train and the Model T has a 5 reduction train with every gear riding on its own dowel pin. Now looking at your two common trains that you're used to seeing, they are four gear reductions and they're very good for speed while they're not quite so good for durability. What happens with these reductions is you have two gears stacked on a center dowel right here. Let's see if I can take that off to show you the pin. There we go. And that center dowel pin is, is very long. Now when you're applying a lot of force to your servo, whether it's steering through rocks or taking impacts from jumps, side hard, hard side hits from landings or, or what have you, you're getting a lot of feedback force. And that feedback force comes through this gear right here. And it hits the final reduction in the train right in the center of that dowel pin. That causes that dowel pin to flex, which does two things. One, after it flexes so many times, it'll just snap. And then two, um, it'll cause a misalignment in teeth, and it'll cause a broken tooth either here or in here. Now, in the older model, it has the same issue with the stacked gears, but it didn't have strong enough teeth to start. The third reduction and this model, which is right here, just has a very, very thin, just has a very thin gear. And these teeth just don't, they just don't hold up, uh, especially in your crawlers and your rock bouncers. And you can see in this one, which, which this is a newer design, uh, but you can see that they really beefed up the gears in it to try to make it hold up to the crawlers today. Now, I was having problem. I was breaking both of these servos in my rock bouncer, and um, they just they just couldn't take the impacts that I needed them to to be able to run my bouncer reliably, and that led to switching out servos. So, so now we have the Model T. Um, you can see that every gear is on its own pin. And that reduces that, that real long pin that you have in the center here. And that actually removes that deflection altogether that you get, which leads to broken gears or uh, broken pins. The other thing I did, um, so when you have a lot of feedback force or even just force pushing against rocks, um, this this dowel pin and this dowel pin, those are the two that, that really have to fight that impact and keep your gears in alignment. And uh, so I've put a two, million, two, two millimeter dowel pin here, whereas a lot of these only have a 1.5. Now I do know of at least one other distributor that has upgraded that to a two, two millimeter pin, um, which does help, but it still doesn't reduce the deflection and the shearing well, it's not really a shearing so much as it's just, they just break from um, the deflection that happens over and over. And the breaks that I've seen in them usually actually happen up inside of here, just inside. Not It's not like a shear force right there at the edge. Um, so, um... Well, it looks like this one does have the thickest gears. Um, it does not. And I'm going to go ahead and pull all the gears out and show you, show you the difference in the gears. So now looking at the gears, we can see the next point of strength. Along with move, removing the stacked gears and having that extra long pin that can deflect, we also have much taller gears. And starting with the last reduction, uh, which is also the output gear, 
you can see this one here. Here's your Model T, and then here's your other two. And you can see how much taller that tooth is, which allows it to be a lot stronger. Moving down to the next reduction, again, Model T on the left right here, and then your other two. And still we have more meat. Now, so you can see the third reduction, oops, uh, I think we can see them a little bit better this way. Um, again, you can see that even the third reduction on this one, even though it doesn't have to fight the sheer strength and the deflection of the pin, it's still a thicker gear down here on your third reduction. Moving down to... Well, sorry, on this one that's the fourth reduction for the Model T, but the third for these. Anyhow, working backwards. Uh, getting down to your next reduction, again, I think it's pretty clear to see that the Model T on the left um, is thicker on both halves of the compound gear. And then down to your final reduction. Um, which of course mine has two more reductions left, but these gears don't really take much impact. They tend to hold up just fine, but even still, we have more meat. This is actually my first reduction, and these are the other two servos' first reductions, and this is my second reduction. But even still, both of these gears are thicker than these two. And so, along with thicker gears and not having stacked gears on a single dowel that gives the Model T a lot more durability and strength while it does sacrifice a bit on the speed from the five gear from the five reduction design it's still ample speed for any of your rock bouncers and crawlers I hope this has helped uh, in explaining what makes the Model T so durable and such a good choice for your rock bouncers and crawlers.